Hi, my name is Matt Benyon. I'm the Senior Content Marketing Manager at WD, and today we're gonna to talk about keeping my Passport wireless secure. Now, having uh, the convenience of wireless is great, but that means there is some risk now of other people connecting to the device and getting, getting a hold of our precious files. Uh, so we're gonna talk a lot about uh, a couple ways to keep this secure. First thing we're gonna do is uh, power the device on. I'm gonna switch over now to my Mac, and, and we're gonna join the wireless network here. So I'm, I'm currently connected to a different Wi-Fi network. My Passport's Wi-Fi network is not secure yet. So once we connect, I'm then gonna open up my web browser and uh, I'm gonna type in my address here, the mypassport.local. Now, we wanna go ahead and, and do a couple things to, to add some security. First thing we're gonna do is connect to Wi-Fi. Uh, I'm gonna choose the gear that's above the My Passport icon here in the center. Uh, and I can see I haven't got any security on my wireless network. I'm gonna choose this WPA2 uh, and I'm gonna choose a Wi-Fi password. Today we're gonna use password, but you should use something better. I'm gonna choose save. Now, uh, because I've added this network security, that means I've gotta reconnect to my passport wireless. So this is gonna take a moment to, to reset itself. I'll be disconnected from my passport. Now my Passport Wireless has got a secured network and we're gonna to reconnect to that. It's gonna ask me to provide the password, which we set as password. And now I'm able to once again access uh, the web dashboard and all these different settings here. So our wireless network is now secure. We do have a password for that. Uh, but now we're gonna go ahead and add some other settings. So just about anybody now could connect if I gave them the Wi-Fi password. But I want to have some, some still security of the device to prevent my guests from changing my settings. So I'm going to go to the admin tab and I'm going to choose to change the uh, settings password. I'm going to add a password. This will also be password for today. Um, click save. And now people that are connecting to my Passport Wireless cannot just access this web dashboard and change the, the device settings uh, on me. If somebody just connected using a USB cable, they could simply connect to it and access all these same files. So from within this web dashboard, if you click on hardware, we also have a feature called drive lock. Once I engage drive lock, simply connecting this with a USB cable to a computer will not allow the person to access the data. The USB cable is really only used for charging. In fact, with drive lock engaged, I can connect the USB cable, uh, plug this into my computer's USB port and actually recharge the device while it's connected. Uh, I can also wirelessly access it if it's connected using USB if drive lock is engaged. So drive lock's a great feature. Now the last, uh, the last thing that we're going to talk about for security uh, is the, the wireless networks and I'm actually going to choose to switch to another network. I'm going to choose to log into uh, WD Demo and we've got two kinds of Wi-Fi networks you can choose. Hotspot is really designed for the most security. And if you're in a public setting like a coffee shop, hotel, or airport, uh, you, you might wanna also connect to the internet, but not let everybody else at the airport or coffee shop who's also connected to that same Wi-Fi network see your files. So hotspot, if you're in a public setting, is great. If you're at home or in a, a network you trust, choose home network and you'll really share all your data with everyone on the same network. So those are, are also uh, great settings to make sure that you've got the right security when you're connected to my passport wire. So as you can see, we can easily add a couple layers of security for my passport wireless. You can lock down the Wi-Fi network. We can have admin level security. Uh, you can lock that USB port so it doesn't allow people to access that content. And then of course, we've got a great hotspot mode in, in wireless tethering that lets you connect to the internet but not let everyone else also connect to your content. My name is Matt Benyon. Thanks for joining me.